What's going down y'all? Welcome to another video. Why do I always feel like I welcome you all in every video with the what's up, what's going on, how you doing? And I read every comment, right? I read every comment and I never see what's going on E. Jones, how you doing, how's Jasmine, how's the dogs doing, none of that. Y'all don't ask me shit. It's, it's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna just keep posting these videos. We gonna keep it strictly business and I'm gonna keep rocking. You feel me? Don't worry about what I just said. I was just kidding. It's all good. It's all good. Today's video, man, a very short, natural looking comb over. It's not comb over season, so I can't really perform a crazy traditional comb over video that you guys are looking for. This is the best I can do for a comb over video right now. You won't see crazy sheer work or clipper over comb, crazy shit like that. But it came out fresh. Hopefully you guys do like this video. If you guys are like six tutorials in and you still haven't hit that subscribe button, I understand, but like, help me out with the subscribe. Coming back every day, oh, did he post another video? Just hit the subscribe button. Anyways, this intro's long as shit, I know, so let's just cut to the video. All right, y'all, we're gonna start by using our wall detailers to ball out his ball fade. With this, we're gonna go bring it down a little bit, down towards the back of his back taper, and then up and around. Uh, this way, we prevent us from going too high with our fade. He doesn't have a large area to work with, so by doing this, you prevent that fade from going too high. All right, now we're gonna take an awesome fast feed number one guard all the way open and fade up into the comb over. That way when we do initiate the fade from the ball, the baldness, the bottom line, all we have to do is fade up into that number one guard all the way open. Then after that, we're gonna go with the number two guard all the way open and start flicking out. We don't, we're gonna make another guideline naturally, but we don't want to. So the more you flick out, the easier it is to fade. And then in between those two layers, we're gonna go with two close, number two guard close, and begin to fade that line out between the long number one and the long number two. And now to fade the hair, the little hairs that are right beside the long comb over hairs, we're gonna go with the number three guard all the way open and flick out. And using the Osler Fast Feed, not long number one up into that two, it leaves a little bit of gap. And my Osler Fast Feed's blade is a little bit longer. So I do a long number one and it just, it fills that gap between the Osler Fast Feed long number one and the Osler Fast Feed number two. And again, from that two up to the long number two, just to fill that gap, I just do a number two close. I'm gonna take my bronze series three. Someone asked me why I don't use the wall five star shaver anymore. It broke twice and I just haven't felt like replacing it. But with this, you just wanna flick out. You don't wanna make another guideline. Just blend up to that wall detailer guideline that we used initially. take our Austin fast feeds with lever all the way close to make our first gun line you want to follow that initial U shape uh, to prevent the fade from going too high now we're gonna make another guideline we're gonna open up that lever uh, open and close if you guys haven't know if you're new to my video is just that lever open means all the way open and closed means obviously closed. Open means longer, closed means short. And to fade out that line in between the two layers, if you guys are new, open and close the lever while flicking out. Um, that's the most effective way for me to do it, to knock out a line between two layers. Before we proceed with the fade, I just feel like knocking out the bottom line. So I just take my wall detailers using the corner and just lightly hit the line and the line pops out. Now we're 
gonna go to Oscar Fastby number zero guard, which is which I call the 116 guard. And I'm just make another guideline right on top of that one. This one not too big because we are going to the top of that fade. Now we're gonna go with the number one guard closed. And to fade up into that long number one that we initially used to make our first guideline, we're just gonna open close that number one and a fade right into the long number one that we initially used with our Oscar fast feed. If y'all remember, if that makes sense. And now we're gonna open and close, flicking out using our 116 guard. In my personal opinion, this is the most important step of any fade or any taper. It's just an in-between size. And it brings out the taper that much more when you use a 116 guard. So if you don't have a 116 guard, I suggest you get one. And to clean up the area between one and long number one, I'm just gonna open and close that number one guard. up the details in the bottom half of this fade so I'm just gonna go with no guard open and closing and flicking out using the corner of my blade even with comb over you can prep the lineup so what I do is I spray water so I get more control over his hair and then I comb I comb the hairs in a backward motion and that reveals like the little baby hairs and those are what I prep the lineup with so I take my number one guard, the lever halfway open, a little bit longer than usual, and I just go with the grain. You see, it just lays the hair down and evens out the hair that much more. It makes the hairline crispier when you do hit it. Uh, you don't have those long curly hairs sticking out. And to clean up his forehead, I just spray some rubbing alcohol, it's just a precautionary step, and then I blow dry that in, combing the hair backwards, but then combing the little hairs forward. If you guys are new to my videos, uh, if you guys are familiar with my videos, keep it natural, keep it sharp, uh, make, make sure those corners are perpendicular, make sure the corners are popping, make sure they line up, that's, that's what's going to make your hairline look symmetrical. And the most important part of any haircut, I promise you, someone will beat your ass for this, just don't push somebody's hairline back. If you do feel like you have to push someone's hairline back, let them know in advance so they are aware of what you're doing with their hairline. popular with comb overs we're gonna give him a side part it's gonna start at the top of his box on his hairline uh, what, what I say is you want to angle that the line up a little bit because if you put it straight it's gonna look like it's going down if you angle it up it's gonna look like it's going straight and then you want to flip that clipper over and hit the bottom of that line just to make the line pop out more and make it straight and when doing this you never want to make a line too thick so if anything make it too skinny because the too thick part just looks stupid it looks unnatural now we're gonna trim his hair, so I spray his hair with water because it's easier to trim wet hair than it is to trim dry hair. And then I comb down his front hairs because I like to keep those a little bit longer, so I just comb them out the way so I don't over trim them. Like I said, this isn't a traditional comb over for you guys, so when that video comes, I will go step by step in what I'm doing when I trim hair. Personally, I never was taught how to trim hair with scissors, so I'm not gonna sit here and act like I can teach you guys. So if you guys wanna observe my technique, I know it's not textbook or anything like that, so if you guys wanna observe what I'm doing and take notes, uh, by all means. Uh, but like I said, in, tr in a traditional video for you guys, in a traditional comb over video, I will do more of an insight of what I'm doing with the shears. What a tip I can give you guys that I have learned by just learning by myself when trimming hair is, 
you have to hit the hairs at all angles. So go backwards, go side, step on the side of the head, do like that. My preference for doing this is always keep the hairs in the front longer. I know I said this already, but keep the hairs in the front longer. It just makes the haircut look more dope. It gives them the haircut more character. clip rover comb I was never taught how to do this so I can't really give you guys the technical textbook way I do it uh, I've seen people say oh keep it at a 45 degree angle that might be true but just observe what I'm doing and try to take notes I guess and my client's hair was kind of thin so I didn't really need that much clip rover comb uh, thicker hair demands more clip rover comb uh, I might do a whole fade with clipper over comb. It, it just depends on the texture of the hair. Now we're gonna knock out the stubbles in his part. Uh, real simple, just pull the skin, keep that razor flat, and don't nick any pimples or any bumps on his head. Same thing with the front of someone's lineup, just keep that razor flat, pull the skin, go slow, watch for pimples, that's the main thing. Watch for pimples, don't cut somebody. As you see, the fade is looking dope already, but I take my fast beats open and close with no guard just to knock out the details. I'm really superstitious OCD when it comes to this. I'll spend 30 minutes just doing this. So make those details pop out, get that fade right. Same thing with the electric shaver, just get any stubbles that you missed while doing this the first time. Me personally, I think his hair looks dope as it is, but I just put some so moisturizer lotion, I call it my hydrate. It makes the hair look hydrated and healthy. It doesn't look so dry. I just rub that in his hair, and then you guys, from there, you guys can style it however you guys want. We ended up sticking with like a, a natural comb over look. I could have done something dope for you guys, but it's what the client wants. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. It's something different. This is a haircut you guys haven't seen from me. I, I'm really multi-faceted when it comes to barbering. I can do comb overs, faux hogs, undercuts. You guys will see everything on this channel. So hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. It'll help out the channel a lot. Hit the subscribe button like I said in the beginning. Don't be watching my videos and not supporting. I just, I don't fuck with that. So as always, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.